as we go along, I'm going to be posting videos and blogs and whatever have you specifically about sessions work. Now, if you want to become a sessions player, know that you're called in for a specific reason, for a finite amount of time. If you're called into the studio to record a track or record an album, that's all the work that you're getting done. You're only recording what you're asked to record. If you're called in for a pit orchestra, a live uh, high-end reception like a wedding reception or an art gallery opening or a live substitution for a touring band, you're called in for a certain amount of time that you must fulfill. A lot of my lessons and a lot of my posts will be skills that you can take and will help you become a better sessions player, but the first thing you have to know about sessions work is that you have one shot to get it right, one shot to do the job. If you're called into the studio for a certain amount of time, those days that you're called in to record is all the time they've allotted for tracking bass because they're working on a very strict budget. It, and if they have to add an extra day for tracking bass, they're screwing themselves over because they're forking more money over to the studio. So if you're called in to record a session, note that you may not get the track, you may not know anything about the track until you sit down at that control board with the producer or, and the producer pushes play and tells you, I want you to play this, 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 and this, here, 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 and here in the song. Um, in those scenarios, even in the scenario when you're given the song well ahead of time so you can learn it and figure it out, no matter what you do, you have to record a bass line that is specific to what the needs of the artist and the needs of everybody who's been working on that album on the engineering and technical side. It's not about showcasing what you can do as a musician. It's about getting the job done for this artist so that their musical ideas can come to life. That's studio sessions work. For live sessions performance, also known as general business performances, you have to know your material backward and forward like you've been playing it your entire life the second you go into that first rehearsal because that first rehearsal may be five hours before the actual performance. That's real world live substitution work. That's real world general performance gigs. You will not and probably may not even see the guys that you're performing with if you're performing at a reception until hours beforehand. If you're called in to do a pit orchestra, you are called in days before the first public performance. And that is the first time that the entire orchestra as a whole will be performing together. You gotta know your parts so that if there are any cuts that have been made, if there's any, you know, accidentals that need to be added, like a crescendo or a decrescendo or staccato notes or whether or not you're playing too loud. Knowing your parts beforehand can help you move the performance along because if they can't open on time, it's your fault and you get a bad reputation and you will not get work again. That's real life sessions work.